With the polarizing flyover issue to address traffic problems in Cebu City, several politicians and movements have been trying to stop or promote the said project. Here is now a recommendation of the Movement for Livable Cebu, which goes against the construction of flyovers. Instead of flyovers, they say, why not flare intersections? Flared intersections in Cebu, as designed by engineer Fortunato Sanchez Jr., will expand the cross-section of the street. The flaring will be done to accommodate a left turn lane so that left-turning motor vehicles are removed from the through traffic stream to increase capacity at high-volume locations and safety on higher-speed streets. Try to look at these illustrations. The proposed flyover project, as what Engineer Sanchez Jr. presented, is not necessary and beneficial to lessen the traffic problems in Cebu. This reflects in the comparative traffic capacity count analysis done in a nearby flyover. The existing Reyes flyover has a small number of passing vehicles, yet traffic buildup can still be observed. On the other hand, the maxilum Cuenco intersection has considerably higher number of passers, but there is no traffic build-up. We claim our right to our livable city. I would like to stress that we have many rights in a, in a democratic government, and I believe that this is a very good exercise of um, people working with our leaders, if and and I and then I I'm very sure I'm very sure that uh, we will be able to come up with a very good design because we all love Cebu here. Thank you. Um, let's go inside Cebu City, Mango Avenue, Gorodo Avenue. These are collector roads. You start putting flyovers there, and then we will graduate into a highway, and our city is cut in many pieces and we lose our inner city core, which is the most sacred space. This is the most core, parang pinaka-village of Cebu City, di ba? There is Republic Act 166. This is a very empowering, another empowering law for the protection and conservation of our heritage. There is criminal liability already attached. If officials or private persons deface heritage sites. Ang Asilo, Ang Imaculada, and even Gorondo Avenue are important cultural properties. Wala pa rin sila na declared heritage sites. Under that law, there is already that presumption that they are important cultural properties and therefore any action which would destroy or deface this ICPs na ay criminal sanction kanon. That's why RDC officials and also other national agency officials and local government unit, uh, our local chief executives or the barangay officials should be very careful now in issuing permits, in issuing ECCs. So many flyover projects, no, wala nat attend at si Congressman Cutie Delmar or even her father is simply the result of the personal wishes of the politicians. This is a violation of our right to participate in all decision-making process. The Constitution provides and guarantees our right, the people's right, to participate at all levels of decision-making process Na akin sa Constitution, Article 13, Section 16, the fundamental law of the land, which not even laws can circumvent, and more so politicians. And this is exactly what's happening now. This, the local government code provides for participatory governance, responsive governance, accountable governance, and decision 
crafted by people at the grassroots. Na kanin atong gihimo sa siyudad sa Cebu, the oldest city in the Philippines, na atong gubukun, this goes against uh, the principles, no? Sa dilig lang sa mga engineers, sa architects, but even against the constitution. Unahol ang katawahan. Kung atong pangutanon ang DNR, kung sa manilang base ipasihan sa pag-issue sa Environmental Compliance Certificate. Joel Lee asked for a copy of the Environmental Impact Statement supposedly submitted by DPWH. It is unfortunate that the DNR and EMP refused to release that document with and saying it is confidential. That is a public record. How can that be confidential? That is precisely the basis for people to make informed decisions. The reason why we wanted to see the EIS, we wanted to know or okay, consider by the environment officials getting heritage and historical aspects of the project. Kaya wala nila di consider, and I'm sure they did not. They can be, they can go to jail by issuing that permit. We want to get hold of that environmental impact statement and also the PWH and look at their base, the basis for the issuance of the ACC. If we need to go to court to have the ACC invalidated, we will do that. So, what is ACC? What I bring back to? The RRM law requires integration of climate change response at the NAM project program sa gobyerno. Kanin flyover project, definitely delete a response but will continue our fossil fuel dependency. So, uh, this goes against the grain of the law and even uh, kanin newly uh, signed um, National Climate Change Action Plan na nipirmahan ni President Aquino uh, three days ago. So you can be sure, apil ka sa discussion kaming uh, implementation of the Climate Change Action Plan na ang flyover rate na ganyan siya relevant. Kung mag-continue ganyan sila sa ilang limo, there is always the petition. We are ready already. DPWA Secretary agreed to stop the flyover projects and I would like to believe that ang DPWH na sa aking tanaw has been transformed into a very open agency will not uh, backtrack from its position. Were all our instances in other cities and countries that the flyovers are uh, one of the good solutions? However, for Venice uh, if you have noticed, uh, there hasn't been any thorough and comprehensive studies of the flyover at the same time with the rest of the other solutions. Can it put up here the former congressman Raul Del Bar? Some of the active participation here was the RDC, yet we don't even see the shadow of Cute Del Bar. It's an insult to our intelligence. In fact, it is a mockery of our democratic system. Ang Congress, ang Congresswoman Security, Billy Raul, why is RBC controlling to the presence of Raul? And since Raul, the potential voice to RBC. And unfortunately, by not, uh, by what our IDC did, na murag ibaliwala, nilabay lang ang PWG recommendation which was, PWG, PWG was in fact a response of the RDC to the clamor of the Cebuanos. Take another look at this flyover project. Ano, are they scared of the truth? Ano, ilang ang ilabay? So there's, uh, it's, we cannot understand. It's incomprehensible as Joey Lee has stated, dili kita mga parang musmos na mudawat lang sa lihimong sa IDC. The fight goes on and it will go on for a long time for as long as these public officials do not realize that there is such a thing as their rule of law. TWG's recommendation is that every time there is a planned um, project 
for for metro Cebu or Cebu City, then people, not necessarily those that are already there at the IDC, but groups of people should be invited, depending on what kind of uh, transportation project there is that the DPWA has planned to to fund with. Sa unang panahon, ang tao ang dawat ang sunod na tao sa ipagpun o ang atay mo. Kung karon ang tao, di naman musagot. So, uh, with, with the standards of the flyover, we cannot proceed if Secretary Simpson will approve. Because uh, his only condition was to make an alternate solution and then let it be passed through RDC. Only those two solutions. The arbitrary thinking has taken charge. And putting the flyover is totally arbitrary. Kaya na, wala ba? Ganaan sila na rin. Basta lang. And then, for the IPC to say no to this PWG finding is totally arbitrary as well. Can the vote of IPC or RTC, if that happens, overrule our law? Kaya na 300 million na flyover na kuna na kwarta. Nanu mo gika na nato, ato na kwarta, nanu man na wala yung 150 million para ipaayos sa hospital, para dun ay hospital, nanu wala yung kwarta para ipalit ng chok, kung mga bata pa yung dal ng chok. Other are legal remedies. In fact, we are now contemplating going to court and compelling the ILG and the mayors to ensure that there is an active barangay. Development Council in each area, but at the same time, inahanglan na ang presence of civil society in each of the barangays. So, most of the way of course, to the kamakuwas sa gobyerno, which is we need to do our share. So, this is a call for our public officials, whether national, local, or even barangay officials to promote the rule of law and there is comply with the process. Be very transparent.